Okay, so, so I wanted to confirm where did we even, where did we get disconnected? What was the last thing you can recall from where I was saying? So I know. Yeah, I think you are talking about the interface or um, Power BI. Okay, okay, the interface, right? Yes. So the inter, we have the ribbon that we have, we have, we have it up here. And I said he holds most of the commands that you'll be working with. So when you, whenever you, whenever you select the tab, and I somebody is interrupting with Okay. I think the host can mute this person. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm trying to do that. Okay. That's so, uh, okay. I've done that. Yeah, it's fine now. Is it okay now? Is it better now? Yeah, it's just fine. Now. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, sure, it's fine now. I show. Let me unmute. Oh, oh, so sorry. Sorry, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Oh, oh, oh so sorry. <laughs> uh -huh. I said on the home tab. Okay. We, ha we have the ribbon. We have the insert tab. We have the... Uh, modeling tab and we have the view tab so i was explaining the home tab i said when you use microsoft sheets often you know um the the home tab contains most of the commands that you'll be using more often so microsoft uh your excel your powerpoint your word they bring together commands from these all other tabs and the, the, the ones they feel will, be, will, will mostly benefit you and they put it on the home tab. So you don't have to go like deeply in search for it. That's what the home tab is most times. So here we have get data. And this, 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 this section grouped under data. If you look at it, they, they grouped it under data. So this section on the home tab is mostly like when you want to connect to your data sources. So you, you get data, you, these are um, the host of common data sources you can connect to. And every other thing here is just like uh, a repetition of what you have in here. Yes, it's just like a repetition or most of the data sources they find that people connect to more often. So that's why they put them here beside the get data. But naturally, what you need is here. If you don't find it here, you can just press more and it opens up a window where you have more options to connect to different yeah. um, data sources. So you have as far as JSON file, you can connect to a folder, you can connect to text or CSV file, Dynamics 365, Azure, Salesforce, Google Analytics, name it. I, I can't even remember the number of um, data sources you can connect to, but it's quite a lot. Uh, and if you, if you scroll through right here, you see that there are quite a lot. And 
you can just this, right here you have um you have to classify them under different um sections so here you have those in um, for the file um, file those for the database that's sql uh, access database and all that so this one is for azure basically azure and different online um, services that's dynamic 365 salesforce sharepoint and all that so you can see your data sources that you can connect to uh we will still get to some of them in our demonstration so for here we have the queries queries this is when you, we are we are bringing in data of course most times more often than not when you connect to a data source or you are importing a data source whatever data you're bringing in more often than not it is not always in the right uh format in the right shape in the right uh um um shape like i said and format for you to use it to prepare your report so you have to perform some operations uh, transformations on the data and this is where transform data comes in and you can't so this one is this refresh right here is when you want when you connected to an online source and and you want to refresh the data from we'll get back to this this refresh and all that we'll get back to it so when you connect to an online source this is what the refresh um button is for so here is the insert this insert here is when you you want to insert a new visual when you want to insert a new visual or or where you want to insert a text box where you can where you can type whatever it is you want to type so uh and sorry, how, how, did, sorry, how did you get a text box again? I'm so sorry. Sorry for cutting short. Yeah, the text box on the home tab. Okay. You come Thank here, you. right down here to this in this group where it said insert, and you and you double click on it. You can click on it once and it, it pops up. Okay. Did you get it? You don't need, really need to do much, you just click on it and it comes up. Yes. Sorry, can I ask you a question? Yes. What is the RAM of your system, please? Okay, my system is about is eight gig. Yeah, eight gig, oh. eight gig. Was it, did you configure that or it came natural? It, it came naturally. Okay, is it four, four, is it four, four or a single eight? You said? Is it four, four, is it four gig gram, four gig gram or just a single eight? A single eight. Okay, thank you, continue. Okay, so, uh, you 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 can select a text box when you are um, designing your report. Sometimes you need text box. Yeah, uh, you you have it here. And these small visuals. For some reasons, you have some visualization that you do not have here. That you do not have here. We we'll still get back to this right pane though. That you do not have here. You can go to App Source, and that's online, and you import a visual you import a visual online sometimes i've seen some people use some visuals i've never seen in my life and this is where they <laughs> this is where they bring them in from you have word cloud you have um you just understand the particular visual you want to um you want to bring in and what you need um how it aligns with your the data you want to display before you bring it in though so that's for more visuals so for the calculations, we have the new measure and quick measure. We we'll get to this when we do when we are doing um, data modeling, DAX, and all that. The new measure and quick measure. We are going to get to it. And pub, um, this sensitivity, uh, you're really not going to use this. But the, the share is when you have a report and you want to share to Power BI service. Of course, we just discussed Power BI service. So when you want to share to Power BI, Power BI service, you publish it. And this is where this part comes in. So I'm just going to explain everything on the home tab like I've done. You know, okay, okay of course, the clipboard, we know what paste, cut, copy is. If we use um, if we use um, other Microsoft products very well. So that's why I didn't really go to this clipboard. You can copy a visual and paste it. You can cut a text box and paste it and all that. So every other thing here now is 
just I'm I I'm just going to explain all. I've just explained everything on the home tab. I'm just going to leave these other ones, and you know, insert tab is when you want to bring something in. Maybe you want to insert a new page. You can do that by clicking the plus sign here. You see this page one here. You can do that by clicking the plus sign below and um, beside it. This yellow plus sign. Or you can also do that by going to the insert tab and clicking this new page. So you can see new visuals and more visuals that we saw on the home tab here. You can see it here in the insert tab. So like I said, insert tab is just like you want to, it's like a repetition. What you don't have on the home tab and you want to insert, you just go to the insert, you'll find it there. Shapes, images, buttons, and this this is power apps when you want to um, insert some uh, um, embed a power app into your report so people can use it without leaving um, this report. So the modeling, of course, is when you want to um, do some calculations on your data. You want to model your data. That's where we talked about the new measure, the calculated column, the quick measure, new table manage relationships. You are going to get to some of them in a bit. And the view tab, of course, uh, show grid lines. When you want to show grid lines in your report to help you align your objects, uh, you can do that or you can remove it. So this, this one is basically when you want to adjust your canvas. I've not spoken about the canvas, but this is the canvas. This is the canvas here, but I've not spoken about it. So this is basically where you want to adjust your canvas. So everything about the view is here. Filter, selection, slicers, and, and you can even change your themes. You can change your themes. You have default themes here that you can use in Power BI. So that's that. Okay, we also have the quick um, access toolbar up here, just like we have in every other um, Microsoft Suite, uh, you can, automatically save without pressing your controls. You can just bring it here and undo and redo. So th that's it about the ribbon. Of course, files. We have this file tab here where you can save, save as. You can also get data from here, import from here. So the interface is really not that hard because you don't really have too many things going on and is, is something you can familiarize yourself with by just sitting down with it and just being inquisitive and trying to. One beautiful thing about all this Microsoft Suite is when you over around your, when you over your cursor around a particular icon, you it, it gives you a two tip. It gives you a two tip about what that particular thing is doing. So away from the ribbon, uh, we have three. Uh, we have. Um, other um, views to discuss. We have three views here. So if you look to the left, you have three icons here, right? So they, they represent the three views we have in Power BI. So we have the report view, which we are on currently. That's when you want to build a report. You stay here and you build everything on here. This is where you, you build your visuals, you arrange them the way you want them to appear. You edit them and you do all that. So this is the report view. Now we are going to go to the data view. The data view is for you to see your data in its normal format. So that's where you can add measures. Um, um, you can even manage relationships, add measures, manage relationships and these are the measures I was talking about. And you can transform data and do all sorts here. And the last one is model view. This is where you create relationships between your, um, your data. You create relationships. It's the graphical representation of the relationships that are established in your data model. So we are going to go deep about uh, into all these stuff that I, I'm, I'm talking about. So we are just going to practicalize and so we can help um, solidify this concept. So remember, we have three views. Report, the, which is the default. 
when you open up your Power BI, the data view and your model view. I'm still going to come back to all of these things when I, I'm going to import a data into this um, Power BI and we are going to see all of these things in full action. But I'm still just explaining the interface so we can grasp what we are going to do here. So away from these views, this is the canvas. If you're an artist, you know what the canvas means. That's where you do your painting. You do your artwork. You do your, um, your, your, um, you, you, you perfect all your beauty, the beauty of what you're doing. So this is the canvas. If you're an artist, you, this is where you draw and, and you do all your, uh, your, your, your dirty work on this canvas. So this is where you are going to do your build your report. So as you open more pages, as you open more pages, I have two pages on here now. You have the report view and uh, you still have your canvas where you can also do your, your, your thing. So if you go to your right, we have, if you go to your right, I expanded this, it was collapsed before I expanded it. We have, have three questions. We have three fields. We have the filter pane, the visualization pane, and the field pane the filter pane, the visualization pane, and the field pane. What, what does the filter do? Maybe there is a visual that you want to, that you want to drill down into some aspects of data. You want to exclude some, some parts and include some parts so you can filter. In Excel, if you use Microsoft Excel very well, if you add a filter to a column, you, you, you can choose what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So this is what the filter is. We also we have the filter pain, and we'll be coming to it shortly. We have the visualization pane. Here, you can choose the visual you want. You have the stack bar chart, the pie chart, the donut chart, the card, uh, the table, the maps, field map, waterfall chart, ribbon chart, tree map, whatever it is, you have it here. So, this is where you select the visuals you want to. So you just know that if you select a visual from here, it appears on your canvas immediately. It appears on your canvas. It appears on your canvas. If you select another one, it appears on your canvas here. It appears here. So just know that. So as you are selecting visuals, they are appearing on your canvas and you are, you are designing or you are building your report. So this visualization pane has three tabs. If you look at it here, this one is where you build your visual. This one is where you format your visual. Both of these things are not bringing out any option because we've not done, we are, we are, we are, we are not into the, we, are, we have not imported data and we have not started doing anything with it. So this is where you format your visual. And here is like analytics, it's like AI helps you bring out some further analytics from your visual. So analytics feature aren't available for this visual. Most times, if there's an analytic feature for your visual, it will pop up and AI can give you some insights that you didn't even look at, um, you are not even paying attention to. So in this visualization pane, we have three tabs, the build visual, format visual, and further analysis, that's the analytics. So lastly, the field pane. The field pane is where, when, you, when once I load in any data into this um, report, this is where it will, it will show me. It will show me the, the table here. It's, it will come up on this field pane. And so you can select whatever it is from your field pane to build your report. So I'm not going to bore us by this interface um, um, description and explanation and all that. So, we are just going to go deep into the um, the the work itself. So I'm going to import um, data. So I'm going to import data into um, this this um, report, so we can start demonstrating some of the things we have explained. 
before I do that, I want to uh, explain some concept again. We, we have to understand the concept of flat files. We, we, we have different um, different sources we can get data from. I, I hope you know CSV file is different from Excel, though you can open CSV files in Excel. So we, are, we need to differentiate that too. A CSV file is a, is, is, a, is, is, a, is a flat file. We have different types of flat file. We have .csv. Uh, I think we have .txt. Text delimited files. So they are all called flat files. And the, the, the full meaning of CSV is comma separated values. So those ones are flat files. Excel workbook. You can get data from Excel workbook. You know Excel workbook is, the, the extension is .xl. SX, and you can get data from relational databases. SQL, SQL Server is a relation, relational database. You can get data from the web. You can get data from the web. That is from a web page. I'm going to demonstrate that shortly. You can get data from um, folders. I think I've shown us the common data sources we can get data from. So, I'm just going to um, delve right into it now and open up. I'm going to open, uh, input, um, input a, sorry. I think it's a CSV file, CSV file. Yes. So I'm just going to use this bank rates i downloaded it this afternoon i think yeah so you just go to get data since it is a csv file you go to text slash csv i'm still going to try to import a data from an excel workbook i'm going to try to import from the web too so we can just see what it looks like to import data from different sources so since it um csv file i'll go to text slash csv and uh i'll, cho I'll choose the data i want to uh the, um, the file parts where my my data is located so i'm going to import this bank rate So it brings up this pop-up. If we add more um, tables in this particular um, data set, it will not bring up just this. It will bring up the tables on the left. So we can select what table we, we want from the data, um, from the pane. But this is just what it, it was, what, what is inside this file. So we can load it or we can choose to transform the data. If you are sure your data is clean, you can load it. Or you can transform this data by going to transform data. It brings up a new pop-up called the Power Query Editor. It brings a new pop-up called the Power Query Editor. Someone, somebody say something. Yes, sir, please. Can I ask a question? Yes, yes, please. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, uh, sir, please. Uh, we, where can I down? Where can I download the, the the raw file, sir? This bank rate, right? Yes. Oh yeah, should I, um, I'm coming. Let me see. Where did I download this from? Um. I can't even remember. I mean, I'll check. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. Apologies. Okay. It has to be one of these. Uh, 
Um, yeah, hi, hi, Shun. Hi. Yeah, we're already running out of time. Um, yeah, I understand. I understand. But I, I just felt probably he wants to follow along. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah. We'll, you know what? We will share the data set to you guys maybe after today's work workshop. So you know, I'm I'm not using the uh, paid version of this Zoom, so it's giving me a time. Okay. Do you get it? okay? So okay. Uh, maybe it might just stop and we just reconnect. Hopefully. All right. What? What? How many minutes do we have left on this? I current... think we have like five minutes more. Five minutes. Then we we'll reconnect, right? Yeah, yeah. Like we can reconnect. Then. Yeah, we can reconnect. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. So, so you can continue. So if you just discover that, uh, you can't see my screen, or uh, so you just know that you okay, have to okay. quickly reconnect. Have to reconnect. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. So as I said, we already. We have this Power Query editor. It's, it's like a new window entirely. This is the main um, report. It's like a new window entirely for you to do your editing on the data. I'm still going to talk mainly about this Power Query editor when, um, when, we, when, when we are done now. But it's like a, 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 a house where you go and oh, I for you the all the messy jobs before you now import the clean data into Power BI to prepare your report. So the Power Query editor is is um, is like an editor where all um all all of these commands where you can um perform transformations on your data are uh, are placed. For you to do your calculations, your you know sometimes the data might not be in the right format. Maybe it's supposed to be in text. It's not. It's not in text. It's supposed to be um, in, in decimal. It's not in decimal. This is where you do everything. But for the in the meantime, I'm going to close and apply and import the data to Power BI. So we see what what I what I mean. So it's loading and. Like I said, once you have your data imported, you get a field, a field, um, a field pane. You, you you have you have your table imported on your field pane, and all of these things you are seeing here, they are columns in this particular table. I mentioned something about the report view. This is the report view. If you want to go to the data view, you want to see your data the way it is. In its raw format, I want to do some calculations, and you go to the data view, and you can confirm that this is what our data looks like when we're importing it, right? Is so for the model view. Let's say we had two tables. We have more than one table. I want to create a connection between them. We are still going to get to connections between two tables and all that. I want to create a connection between them. This is where you do your modeling. Your modeling. So, um, your filter pane, your visualization pane, your field pane, just like I said. So I just wanted to use this one as um, as a a description as to how you can import data into Power BI through TXT files. Or a txt or csv files so i'm going to close this and yeah i'm going to close this and we'll use um we we'll use another data source i mean okay where am i oh sorry so we are going to use another data source why let's okay okay i can also connect to an excel workbook like i said the other time 
So I have some exo. I don't know which. Okay, I, good. We have the global superstore, the popular global superstore data here. So you can immediately I connect to it. Okay, there's an error. Let's let's use another exo loop. Maybe I have deleted some of these workbooks. Um, coming documents. Okay, let's just start. Okay, good. This was what I wanted to demonstrate. Immediately, we connected to this um, this particular workbook. In this workbook, we have different sheets. And I hope we know the difference between a workbook and a sheet. A sheet is like um, one page in a workbook. And a workbook is like a compendium of different sheets. So we have this, all these sheets in this workbook. We have all these tables in this workbook. So I, I just need only this table, which is the star table. And I can choose to load it, just like the, um, the previous option, transform the data, or cancel. So if I want to load it, if I'm sure that my data set is in the right format, I've done all the necessary uh, corrections, I'll load it directly. If I want to transform it, there are some things I'm, I'm, I'm looking to, to correct. I'll just click the transform. Either way. You are good. So loading it into Power BI, you will see it pop up in the fields pane. Yes, so we have the start um, table in the fields pane, and these are the columns under this table, like I said, and we can start building our reports. But we are not yet into building reports now, so I'm not going to go deep. So I'm, I'm switching to the data tab so we can see our data just the way it is. We have 5,748 rows. You can see it down here, 5,748 rows. And we have how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine columns. So if we have different tables, we can model our data here. So Enough of this important, important, important. I would like to really talk about this Power Query Editor because it's a powerful tool that you'll be using more often. Power Query Editor. So let's say after you've even imported your data, you now need to even transform it or perform some calculations. You found out that some things are not just right. You can just come here, transform data, and you click on it, and it opens the Power Query Editor. He opens the Power Query editor. So now, I'm still just I'm trying to see how many minutes we have left, so we don't. So this Power Query editor now is what we are going to discuss about uh, before, probably before this um, I, I time show. runs out. I show. I, I, the I, the meeting times uh, uh, says one minute left. So in the next one minute, we might just have to reconnect. Okay. 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 Yeah. So you can continue. All right. So the Power Query Editor, like I'm saying, we have different um, parts to this Power Query Editor. We have, of course, the ribbon. You always have the ribbon. We have the left pane here. We have the center pane, and we have the right pane. So I'm going to explain it in that order. We have the ribbon. We have the left pane, the center pane, and the right pane. Okay, I'm coming. I think one minute we almost. Okay, I think we'll be running out of time now. So when we are coming back, this should be our 